Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Scalf with MilitaryMemoriesAndMore.com and today we're going to be showing you how we take a certificate, medal, and program guide and then turn it into one amazing certificate frame display for you to be able to put on your wall in your office or at home. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you either want to use a tape measure or a ruler and figure out what the measurements and dimensions of all the items that are going to be in the project are. I know that the uh, certificate frame is an 11 by 14 and by rule of thumb on that you usually want to come in about a half inch on the measurements of that to make sure that the certificate itself will be flushed and pressed up behind the mat board that it's going to be behind in the, in the project. So instead of 11 by 14 you're going to be two, 10 and a half by 13 and a half on that window opening. And then uh, the book that's going to be the program that we're putting into this layout I actually am going to be going a sixteenth of an inch bigger on the width and height of this so that the window itself will be nice and snug and actually help hold this program into the position that I want it inside the layout itself. The next step that you want to do, of course, you want to measure up the, the metal that's going to be inside the layout and then figure out what the, how much of this ribbon that I want exposed in the display. And I think the window that we're going to go with here is going to probably be about 12, 13 inches in, uh, in height. And then it's going to be about 4 and 3 quarter, 5 inches wide on the uh, top, on the actual width of it so that we can get a nice, a decent spread on the ribbon itself here. And then from here, once you get the measurements and all that, of course, the next step is to figure out we like to use foam core to use uh, and build up our displays. So you want to figure out what the height of this metal is going to be in terms of uh, how many strips high is this foam core going to need to be built up. And I've went ahead and pre-did this whole entire portion of this part. It's going to be two quarter inch strips of foam core high around the whole entire display itself to create the space that I need for the metal to be inside the layout and not uh, press up against the glass and be spaced back. Um, I like to use the, the strips around the whole outside where I can and the uh, whole port, uh, the point to using this stuff of course is to get the spacing that you need for the shadow box windows but it also is going to provide the support that you need for the glass to be inside the display. If you didn't have any of this built up the, the uh, mat board would sag inside the display and your, your window openings wouldn't be separated and opened up they'd be pretty much flat so of course I've taken and built up every single portion that I've, area that I need already for this with too high of quarter inch foam core and then uh, where the book is going to be at in the position of it I actually got lucky this book is exactly a quarter of an inch tall so rather than build up too high where the book is going to be I only am going to be mounting one one thick of the quarter inch foam core down in that area so that when I place the book into that position when I lay the mat board down on there that window like I said is going to be snug and they just hold that book right into place this book won't move anywhere and uh, of course I went ahead and pre-cut the mat board itself they went they chose black with uh, a gold mat board to go along to tie in with the color of the ribbon on the metal itself so here's what this looks like. When that's all done, we have a computerized mat cutter that we use for that for that area. We do not cut by hand. We we lay out in a software, and then uh, have a mat cutter. It's a Gunnar mat cutting machine that uh, works wonders. Now, as you can see, this area here where the certificate's going to be, it's flush all the way up to the mat board, so that when the certificate lays in there, it'll have uh, that pressed look there. It'll be nice and flush mounted there. The metal itself now, with this being built up, has the space it needs to be able to clear the mat board and give that shadow box effect. And of course here, the, met, the ribbon itself, as I said before, we're going to be having it spaced out. So here's how it's starting to come together. And of course we'll lightly tack down this ribbon to the backboard so that it is nice and flush in there and looks good. And uh, here we are about a quarter of an inch separation around, away from uh, being flush mounted so that when I lay this book in here, it now is exactly the same height as the black top mat 
that we have here so that when this glass lays down here it'll help keep this booklet nice and pressed in there. It's not uh, glued down or tacked down with anything. And uh, in this open area here we are going to be putting a gold plate that you see that will end up centering nicely there and uh, of course this is where the certificate itself will be mounted in there. So you can see you're starting to really see a good picture of what this will look like when it's all done. And rather than uh, have what they, they chose a black frame that's going to be going on this and they wanted to give some separation so what I actually did was I cut a little over a half inch strip of that gold mat board to lay down on the top half here. If I can get it up there. So that when I actually put this frame up on here, it's going to give a nice pinstripe effect. And actually it will really uh, accent this frame well so that it isn't uh, black on black right here. It's going to look really good. So you can see kind of what our uh, concept is with building certificate frames. There's not really much we can't do with it. Uh, I'll show you the finished product here in just a second. Okay, so now I've allowed this project 24 hours to dry to make sure that the metal that we have mounted in here and the gold plate that you can see here had uh, plenty of time to dry and also uh, the way I tacked down the uh, ribbon up at the top half up in there I had to allow it to dry on the back side too. I ran a thin bead of glue on the back side and then secured it down with some nice uh, industrial adhesive tape. And there you can see the uh, certificate frame nice and flush mounted. And then here I'll try and zoom in a little bit more to see if I can't get you a look at that uh, program guide that I've, uh, it's actually float mounted in there. It's uh, not attached down with any kind of adhesive or anything like that. It's just the window opening itself. And then that one piece of foam core that I mounted underneath there on the back side that's helping prop that up in there and hold it in position. And then uh, of course as we spoke about the gold trim, you can see how I've pinstriped around the whole outer edge to kind of accent the black frame that we've got on there. And uh, I think it turned out really well in the end. It uh, doesn't get much better than that. Well that about wraps up this uh, instructional video on how we mount our certificate frames. Um, if you haven't checked out our military shadow box video, I recommend maybe you go and check out that video as well. My name is Ryan Scalf with MilitaryMemoriesAndMore.com and thank you again. <laughs>